All right, here we go for gas laws. So a hot air balloon is filled with a volume, V, of 44.5 liters and a pressure at 758 torr. What will be the volume of the balloon if the pressure decreases? Ah, so these are initials, initial pressures and volumes. And we're going to decrease the pressure to 748 torr. This tells me that P1V1 equals P2V2 is my go-to um, because it compares conditions where temperature is constant, but pressure and volume are changing. And so I don't need to convert anything for this. I can just leave them as they are because both pressures are already in TOR. I'm running out of space um, times V2 there. All right, and so 758 times 44.5 divided by 748. We end up with a volume of 45.094 liters. I look at my figures. I got three everywhere, so it'll be four. I didn't write that right. 45.09 is what the calculator says. So we'll round that to a 45.1, and that would be D. Okay. A pressure of three atmospheres is equal to, oh, we get to convert. So three atmospheres, I know that the relationship is 760 torr per one atmosphere. You're given that um, on both of our last chapter exam, as well as the um, American Chemical Society final. My answer on this um, con conversion here is 2,280. It has three sig figs already, so we're good. Um, now we're going to go the other way. Same relationship, though. Remember, MMHG, millimeters of mercury, and TOR are the same. I'm just going to flip over my conversion factor. So I'm dividing instead of multiplying. And it says 1.355. Um, that's going to round to three sig figs, so 1.36. Okay. A sample of gas at uh, has eight liters, so that's the volume, uh, and the temperature is 20. Now I know because this is a gas problem, I'm going to need to convert. So um, that'll be 293.2 Kelvin with the correct sig figs, and my pressure is 700 torr. Um, it wants to know what volume is at STP. So I'm going to have to convert 700 TOR and give myself enough space. But because um, R is in terms of atmospheres, so I'm going to go ahead and do this conversion to get it to cancel. So for some reason, this calculator I have keeps typing seven when I want a four and vice versa. 92105 ATM, so that'll be 0.921. All right, so we're gonna, we're trying to find the volume. I rearranged my ideal gas law equation to get volume by itself. And, um, Oh, you know, I don't have to use that equation. I don't know the number of moles. I could figure it out, but it would probably be faster if I just use the uh, combined gas law instead. The combined gas law assumes moles is not changing. So if this is a chemical reaction, that may not be true. It isn't, so I can use it. And so we're going to plug in our initial pressure is 700 torr, which is 0.921. Um, our initial volume, I don't have enough room here. I'm gonna do it on the next page. So this is gonna be 
gas laws for. All right, so we're gonna plug it in. Oh, oh, hold on, did that wrong, sorry. All of that, that's just a doodle. All right, this is our equation. Our initial temp uh, pressure was 700 torr, but we converted it. Um, we probably don't have to, though. You could probably just leave it. I probably just did extra work. Nah, let's just leave it. Maybe you were smarter than me and you figured that out. I'll leave it in tour. And then our volume initially was 8 liters. And our temperature, this does have to be converted. So that's the 293.2 Kelvin that I just did. Um, STP means 1 atmosphere or 760 torr. That's why I don't have to convert, as long as I remember that those are equivalent. Um, trying to find the volume. And temperature at standard temperature and pressure is 0 Celsius, which is 273.2 Kelvin, or 0.15. So that's a definition. So you could plug in other values. Um, like you could use atmospheres instead of Tor. That would be fine. You could probably convert from liters to milliliters if you wanted to, but it, it doesn't matter. The one that does matter is definitely temperature because it's an addition to get from Celsius to Kelvin. So if you don't do that conversion, you will not get the right answer. Um, so altogether, this volume, let's see, I think we got three sig figs. So it says 6.8658. I'm going to round to 6.87 liters. So the pressure went up, but temperature went down. And the result at the end is the volume decreases from 8 to 6. So on this worksheet, that would be answer D. This is looking so messy. I didn't give enough space for these problems. I'm sorry about that. All right, number five. A mixture of gases consists of, um, what is the total pressure? Oh, so this equation is just the pieces added together. So helium is one thing. Um, looks like neon is our next one. And argon, right? So I just, uh, the total pressure of a mixture of gases is literally just all the gases added together. And those are all in Tor, so they match. Another trick would be to, to not have the same unit, in which case I would have to add them. Um, or not add them, convert them. So your total is 900 Tor. And all of those zeros are significant. So that would be B. All right, last couple questions here. We have the volume of 0.132 moles of carbon dioxide gas at STP. All right, so one of the equations that we get relates um, density, molar mass, um, et cetera. Um, I don't even think I need that. I think I'm just going to use PV equals NRT. It doesn't really matter that the gas is carbon dioxide because all gases behave ideally, at least that's our assumption. Um, and so STP is a key idea here. I need to realize that that's one atmosphere. I don't know the volume, I'm looking for that. I do know, know that there's 0.132 moles. Again, I need more space. I write big. We're gonna do gas laws six down here. Um, Okay, so if I'm going to use PV equals NRT, that means the pressure is one atmosphere. Oh gosh, one atmosphere times the volume. It's going to equal 0 0.132 moles of gas times our gas constant. 
times the temperature. So the temperature at standard temperature and pressure is zero Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. So the volume is going, I'm going to have to divide by one because it's there, but we won't change the number, of course. So under standard conditions for gases, we end up with 2.9587 liters is the only one that doesn't cancel. And then you divide by your one atmosphere. Um, so I have three sig figs. Nope. 2.96 liters is our final answer on number six. So that is choice A from our multiple choice. Okay, now seven, um, this is the molar mass of a gas question. And so um, I think on my formula sheet uh, that I gave you guys for this, it said MM, but it's a cursive M in lab. That's the same thing. And I think the equation is DRT over P. Okay, so um, we have a volume of 16 liters and a mass of 19.0. Uh, you can plug that into density, or you can just realize it's mass divided by volume in this equation. I'll do it that way. So this would be the density if you want to solve that separately. Our R is 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Um, uh oh, so we have 765 tor. I need to convert that. That's very similar to what we had with the Duma lab. Um, we had measured the, in, from the barometer in tor, and we had to convert. We ended up with more sig figs than that number has, but it's close enough. 1.0065 atmospheres. Um, I only got three sig figs, so it would really round there, but I'm not comfortable rounding that early in the process. So um, I actually keep more than that in my calculator. And then our temperature change is 20 degrees C, so 273.15 plus 20. That's our temperature change. Not change, sorry, our temperature. All right, so in the end, after doing a calculation, it's the molar mass is 28.3796. And the only units that don't cancel are grams and moles. So it's grams per mole. And so let me think about sig figs here. It's going to be three, so 28.4 grams per mole. And that leaves us with B. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, as always, I'm happy to answer questions. Good luck on your last chapter test for chemistry one.